So we've been talking about this for a few weeks, and we've established this point that as relational creatures, a large part of our success is tied to or it is dependent upon our willingness and our ability to relate to others. Not our own individual talents, not the gifts that God has blessed us with, not my unique skill set, not our ability to persevere, not our hard work, not our anointing, but our ability to go to that next level. Amen. It's dependent upon my willingness and my ability to connect with other people and go down that same road together. Amen. It's my ability to yoke up with someone like Dexter. And I understand my strengths, but I also understand my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So as I'm walking down this road, I'm going to take Dexter with me because he covers my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And now together as we yoke up, we are a mighty force fighting against the enemy mm -hmm. because we are both walking in our yeah. strengths. Amen. That's what a good offensive coordinator does. Football, 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 football. A good offensive coordinator understands what he has on the field. He understands what his quarterback can do. Can he throw it deep? Can he put a little touch on it? Is he extremely accurate? He understands what his receivers can do. He understands how long his line can hold people away from his quarterback. Therefore, he designs plays specifically to put them in the right position. Amen. I hate to say it, but that's why the old New England Patriots keep winning year after year. <laughs> Year after year. They, they, they understand. They make it this year, right? They understand how to how to come up with a scheme that fits what they need to do for the personnel that they have for that team. Just together that they rise. Not just about Tom Brady, but together they rise. They take a bunch of no-name people, plug them into the system, and say, together as a unit, we will be a great team. Not depending upon one individual, but as a team. Right. Together, we rise. Look at what Helen Keller said about Jules. Turn to the next slide. He says, alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Amen. Amen. Look at, look at what Jordan says. Talent. This is the GOAT now, the greatest of all time, some people say. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's good. <laughs> look at what George Sheen, the first owner of the Hornets, said. He said, there is no such thing as a self-made man. You will reach your goals only with the help of others. It is together that we rise. Amen. Not me as a particular individual, not according to my talents, but together with the help of others, with us uniting together as a team, that's how we rise. And of all of those relationships that we find ourselves interacting in, the most important one is the one we talked about last week, God. Amen. My relationship with God. And if you really think about that, think about who has created us and who is the potter mm -hmm. and who has formed us who has blessed us with a particular set of gifts and a particular set of talents, who has placed us in particular positions for a particular reason, 
who knows all, sees all, understands what we are going to go through, who has designed us for a particular purpose, knows why he has designed us, knows the various different things that we will find ourselves going through. And on top of that, he loves us. And he yearns to be in relationship with us. And he has proven that by allowing himself to be crucified on the cross. So the one who has a thousand cattle on the hill, that cattle on a thousand hills, I messed that up, has a cattle on a thousand hills, says, I love you. And I love you so much that I'm going to be a blessing unto you. Amen. So if that is the case, since that is the case, why not put him first? Amen. That's it. Why not put God first? Amen. First things first. God. I'm moving everything else over. Yeah. I'm putting God first. Yeah. Amen. I know what I can do as an individual, but first things first. God. Amen. that relationship with God is great. But there's another relationship I want us to talk about on today. And just like our relationship with God, it is imperative that we get this one right as well. This relationship is vital to our success. And that's our relationship with ourselves. Amen. I'm talking about being happy with me. Loving me. Amen. Enjoying me. Amen. Believing in me. Amen. Understanding that I am not perfect. Amen. But I have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. There's some great stuff on the inside of me. I've made some mistakes. I've been through some stuff, but that does not mean that that does not uh, another five that there's some greatness yes. 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 on the inside of me. Amen. There's value yes. Yes. on the inside of me. I'm worth something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to belittle myself. There's value in me. Amen. I don't have to demean myself. Amen. But there's value in who I am. I Amen. am somebody yes. special. Yes. 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 Once again, not perfect. Amen. But I'm somebody special. Amen. And I have to have a healthy relationship of who I am. Not a braggadocious relationship. Uh -huh. Not thinking more highly of myself than I ought to Amen. think. But I'm not going to think too lowly of Amen. myself. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. I have a healthy outlook of who I am. Amen. And I'm just glad that Jesus had a healthy outlook of who he was. Yes. Amen. And who he is. Just think about that. He was born in a manger. Right. He didn't have his own crib. They were waiting. He was born in a manger. They couldn't find nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. And they were waiting. Mm -hmm. All right. But he still had a healthy outlook yeah. of himself. He had no place to lay his head, the Bible yeah. says. Yeah. But he still had a healthy outlook of who he is and why he came. They talked about it because he came from the ghettos of Nazareth. Yes. Nothing good comes out of Nazareth is what they said. How can the Savior, the Messiah, come from, from, from such a forsaken spot? He had a healthy outlook of who he was and what he was sent to do. Amen. He says, I believe in what the Father sent me to do. 
I am the great I am. I am the light of the world. I am the bright and morning star. He says, I'm the living water. I'm the one who quenches the thirst. Say, I am the bread of life. He says, I am the resurrection and the light. He says, I am the one. It's me. He says, I am the one. And all of this other stuff has no place. He says, I am the one. He has a healthy outlook for who he is. But unfortunately, many of us allow what we have been through, yeah. our life experiences, yes. the things that have taken place to have a negative effect on yeah. the way in which we see ourselves. Yeah. And because it has a negative effect on the way we see ourselves, it also has a negative effect on the way we interact with other people. Yes. Because I see myself according to what somebody else said about me. Now I have internalized that and I believe that. So now as I enter into a relationship with somebody else new, I take that internalization, I take that mindset with me. They said I would never be something. So now as I enter into a relationship with somebody else, I believe they think I will never be something. That last person I was dating talked about me like I was a dog. And now as I go into this next relationship, I take that same thing with me. I lost that job. And now as I go looking for a new job, I take that mind to that I must be wrong. I must be a failure for losing such a good job. I take that same mindset into the next job. So what's happening is I'm taking all of that negative that I see from a result of my past experiences mm -hmm. to all of my new relationships. Y'all mind if I get a suitcase? <laughs> Y'all remember we get a suitcase? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Suitcase, suitcase, suitcase. You know? We said it as we go through life, we, 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 we have various different life experiences. We encounter things, and sometimes those things are bad. So what we find ourselves doing is taking that stuff with us from relationship to relationship to relationship, from situation to situation to situation. No matter who I'm trying to have a relationship with and how pure I'm trying to keep that relationship and how positive they're trying to think about me, I see all that stuff that happened. And I got all this stuff that's in my suitcase from all the previous relationships. Yeah. So none of my relationships have a chance of starting off fresh and new. Because I'm carrying all of this stuff from yeah. the other relationships. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. But can we go one step deeper with that analysis? Because along with all the stuff that we've been through and all of those negative experiences that we carry around in our suitcase, mm -hmm. there is also a mindset that's been damaged. Amen. Yeah. You see, the situation I went through caused some psychological damage. It's caused some emotional damage. Some spiritual damage. Some sociological damage. And once again, now as I'm trying to interact with somebody else, I see myself through the prism of all of that damaged Thank stuff. You. Amen. 
If you had one of those stamps, you could put it on my forehead. Damaged goods. I'm trying to have a relationship with this new person, but I see myself as damaged goods. I'm, I'm trying to have a relationship with this new job, but I see myself as damaged goods. I go to this new ministry, I see myself as damaged goods. And I don't want to think of myself in that manner. But as a result of the damage that has not been addressed, or can I say has not been reset, now I'm carrying all of this stuff on the inside of me. And psychologically, it's there. Psychologically, it won't let me go. And I don't tell people about it. But I stay locked up in my mental closet. And I try to wrestle with that stuff all by myself. And I find myself losing the battle over and over and over again. Because not only do I know about it, the enemy knows about it. He keeps beating me up with it. Trying to have a healthy outlook. Think positive. Yeah. <laughs> but that stuff that has not been taken care of. Yeah. 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 Emotionally, it's still there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's below the surface, but it's still. You can say certain things to me and it triggers it on the inside of me. Amen. Amen. I can see certain situations and it triggers it. I have to catch myself. <laughs> because psychologically, I've been damaged. Yeah. Emotionally, I've been damaged. And Andre, we as men, we are really horrible. Because all of our life we've been told to be strong. Yes. Be a man. Stop whining. Don't be a little wimp. Mm-hmm. But that psychological damage happens to us. She walked out and that's damaging to us. But I can't say anything about it because I'm a man. And men don't cry. I just lock my feelings up and go on about my business and hope it'll go away. Jesus. They rejected me. Oh, that's all right. That's their fault. They don't know what they missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but on the inside, I hate yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's pain on the inside. Yeah. I want to know why they rejected me. Why daddy didn't come back home. Mm-hmm. What's going on? We want to know why. Yeah. And then we walk around like a time bomb. Mm -hmm. Because we got this psychological damage that has not been taken care of. This emotional damage that has not been taken care of. Now we're walking around and anybody we interact with, we're looking at them out of the prism of that pain. Out of the prism of the damaged goods. So now as I begin to try to interact with somebody and have a healthy, authentic relationship with them, I find myself troubled. I find it very difficult to do because I have this mask of I got this mask on. And when I, when I put this mask on, this mask is intended for me to show the world this image I want them to see. Amen. I don't want them to see the damaged goods. Uh-huh. But it's a certain image 
I want them to see. So when I enter into this relationship, I put my mask on. Just imagine this is a mask. And now I walk around and I meet Clarice for the first time and I put my mask on. I go hang out with Danielle, but the whole time I'm hanging out with Danielle, I got my mask on. Me and Dexter go to the ball game and we talk for two right. hours, but I never allow him to get on the inside and I got my mask on. That's it. Thank you. Because there's no way I can let him meet the real person. Uh-huh. Because the real person is damaged goods. <laughs> and he might be just like somebody else. Wow. Or she might be like somebody else who hurt me in the past, and I ain't taking that no more. <laughs> so let me put my mask on. I just, I just go through life with the mask on. But what some of us do, we got like my man Henry for the Titans today. We give him that spiritual stiff arm. Right. Stay away. I'm not going to let you get too close. We can have a surface level relationship. We can do things high level, but I'm not going to allow you to get too close to me. I'm going to keep you at a distance. How you doing? Distance. Yes, sir. She tries to learn some more stuff about me. Oh, distance. Wow. <laughs> Wants to get more engaged and figure out and learn some more about me because you really think I'm a cool guy? Distance. And you know us, sometimes we do things intentionally, on purpose, so we can yeah. keep you at distance. Yeah. 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 You getting too close to me. Amen. <laughs> I feel myself starting to like you a little bit. <laughs> starting to love you. And I, I can't go out like I've been down that road before. Yeah. And there's a lot of pain there. Mm -hmm. So as a result, what happens is I never find myself engaging in any true, authentic, yes. meaningful, yes. deep, passionate, yes. fulfilling relationships. Yes. Yes. It always remains on the surface. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, I want to interact. Yes, I want to be loved. Yes, I want to love. But I, I, all the stuff on the inside, I'm just going to keep it. And it's not that we don't have the capacity to do it. But it's all locked up in the suitcase. We took love and put it in the suitcase. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We took forgiveness and put it in the suitcase. We took peace and put it in the suitcase. Yes. We put grace in the suitcase. Mercy in the suitcase. Mercy. We took our true self, lined up in the suitcase, put the zip on. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Walk around with the mask on. Amen. Our true self is never seen. True interaction is never seen. So here's the, here's the thing. Here's, here's, here's the thing I've learned. It's hard for me to love you if I'm having trouble loving myself. Amen. 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 Hard for me, Miss Eleanor, to forgive you. Yes. If I can't forgive myself. Wow. Extend mercy to you. Yes. If I can't extend mercy to myself, 
extend mm -hmm. grace to you, yes. if I can extend grace to myself, if I don't have a healthy understanding of who I am as an individual and a healthy love for who I am and what I've been through, it's hard for me to give that same stuff. Not impossible, yeah. but i got to find a way to get out of the suitcase. Yeah, yeah Lord. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. I gotta find a way to get through all this psychological and yes. emotional and spiritual yes. and yes. social damage that's taken. I gotta mm -hmm. find a way to yeah. deal with all those things. Amen. So that I can get to where God yeah. would yeah. have me yeah. to be. Amen. Yeah. Where God would have me to be. So can I share one other thing with you about that? You might want to look at me. <laughs> can I share one more thing with you about the man? Mm -hmm. It has a time limit yes, yes. on it. <laughs> the mask will expire. Yes. There's only so long, well, how, there's only a certain amount of time in which we can put this mask up and really fool somebody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, Come on, Dad. My daddy taught me that. He said, date her for a year. Wow. He said, you really figure out what she's about after that year. Yeah. So you can date her, she'll act a certain way and do certain things for you for a year. After that first year, oh. you'll see what she's really about. Amen. The same concept is true with us. Yes. We can only act fake. We can only put up a facade. We can only put that illusion up for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. After a while, people will begin to see through the man. Yeah. 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 And they'll be able to see who we really are. Yeah. And they'll be able to see the pain yes. and the heartache yes. and the psychological yes. damage yes. and the emotional damage and the sociological. Yes. And they'll be able to see all of that stuff yes. because the mask has an expiration date. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there's two things I want to encourage us to do. What do I need to do? Number one. Just be you. Just be you. Yes. It works. Take the mask and get rid of it. Amen. Be happy. And just be you. Don't try to be somebody else. Amen. Don't try to act like somebody else. Don't act like a different person in front of different people. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be a business person in front of this person. I gotta be a super spiritual person in front of this person. I gotta be an athletic person here. Yeah. I gotta do this when I'm in front of this person. Just yeah. be you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just be you. Yes. And I want to make sure I put this up here. I want you to see it. I may not be perfect, That's right. but I am me. Amen. Amen. Life has thrown me a couple of curveballs. But I'm still me. Amen. I've been through some stuff. I've had some life experiences. Yeah. And when I look at me now, I've been through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm me. Amen. I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. Not perfect at all. But I'm me. Amen. And that's, that's why I like the second. I'm working on becoming the best yeah. version of me that I can be. Amen. Amen. I'm working on becoming the best version of me. I'm allowing God to get on the yeah. inside of yeah. me. Yeah. I'm allowing myself to be purged. I'm allowing myself to be cleansed. Yeah. I'm allowing myself to be reset. Let me have to pick up my word, stay in my word to find that stuff that's going to help me become a better me. Spend time on my knees praying. That's what we're going to do. Fast. That's what we're going to do. 
Praise him until change happens. Yeah. I see my faults. You ain't got to tell me. I see where I can improve. I see that sometimes I talk too much. I see that I can tell some stories. I can be manipulative. I can be defensive. I know all that stuff about myself. I know I can be passive. I know there's a bunch of stuff on the inside of me that needs to be improved, but I, I love me. Amen. Amen. With all of my imperfections, yes. I love me. Amen. I am going to work on becoming the best me that I can be. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. With God's help. Amen. I put that on. With God's help, because it's not by might, nor by power, but by his spirit. With God's help, I'm going to become the best version of me that I can be. Amen. So now I'm free to enter into a relationship with Daniel. Amen. I'm free to be Danielle's friend. We're free to hang out. Why? Because I have said I love I believe in me. And if she sees something that ain't perfect, I'm okay with that. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because I made peace That's right. Amen. with me. Amen. I need you to get that. Thank you, Lord. I made peace with the stuff that happened to me in the past. Thank you, I made peace with the mistakes I've Thank made. You. I made peace with the stuff that people have done to me. Uh, and now they're still trying to haunt, but I made peace. I've emptied my suitcase of a few So I don't have to be fake around Danielle. Amen. I can just be her. Yes. Amen. I don't have to be fake around Andre. Yeah. I can just be her. Just be Amen. I don't have to be fake around Jules. I can just be her. I don't have to be fake around Mike. I, I can yes. just be her. Lord. Yes, Lord. yes. That's it. I can just be her. And hopefully, he can just be Mike. Amen. And together, we can just have authentic relationships. Yes, yes. yes. Learn things. Grow together. Cry together, pray together, chase the enemy together. Yes, 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 yes. We can do life together. Amen. For it is together that we rise. Yes. I may not have it all together, but together we have it all. I might not be perfect, translation. I might not be perfect, but I can unite with some people who can help me grow. Yes. If I'm willing to take down yes. the mask. Thank you, Lord. If I'm willing to take my stiff arm down yes. and allow them to get in and allow them to start, God to use them as an instrument to minister unto me. Amen. Amen. But it starts with me being real with myself yeah. and say, I'm going to work on me. That's right. Amen. I'm not going to pray God work on everybody else. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We said to all the couples, we ain't praying for my spouse to get better. I need to pray for me to get better. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I ain't trying to fix everybody else. Let me I fix know. me. Because yes. yes. I understand. But that song about it said, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. Thank you. I'm saying that. Amen. Please be patient with me. God is not through with me. And there's greatness on the inside of me while he's working on me. So I'm just going to walk in with my head high and my chest back. Yeah, knowing that he who has begun a good work in me will complete it. He will perfect it. Amen. 
I just got to take the mask down and get rid of the stigma. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Father God, we just love us some of you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And we love all that you have done, all yes, that you are doing, Father God. We love all the stuff that we've experienced, Father God. Yes. The various different things that have taken place in our lives, good and bad, Father yes. God. We are grateful for you. Yes. That in the midst of it all, you're still the foundation. Yes. In the midst of it all, you still teach us and you still mold us and you still shape us, Father God. Yes. Help us love us. Yes. When the negative thoughts come into our mind, help us love us. Yes. Help us deal with the psychological damage. Help us deal with the pain. Yes. Help us deal with the negativity that has come our way, Father God. Yes. Help us deal with the foolish things that we've done to ourselves, Father yes. God. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Because we want to be the creature that you have created us to be. We want to be the best version of us. Yes. And we know that we've been created for authentic relationship, not only with you, Father, but with others. Mm -hmm. So help us. Yes. Help us walk in your power. Yes. Help us cleanse ourselves. Help us be the best. It's in your son Jesus Christ's name that we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, thank you, family. We love you. We appreciate you. That number two we talked about yesterday, your relationship with yourself. Oh. Love yourself. Amen. Amen. Looking for a spot to work on you to grow in Christ, to become a disciple in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this is the spot. Get into the house of the Lord. www.exhortcc.org. You'll find all the information you need. Love you. See you next week. Amen. Amen. Amen.